everyone, it's Kristen. What's been really fun during this quarantine stay at home time is all the virtual wine tastings. We've actually been following several different ones, but this new one that we stumbled upon is through a winery called Saint Supre or Saint Supre. I'm totally butchering the name. But what's cool with them is they are doing a sustainable seafood pairing with their wines. Their first pairing was a citrus cured salmon with their Sauvignon Blanc. I tried and made the citrus salmon. It actually turned out pretty well. I was kind of surprised that I did all right with a cured salmon, which I had never done before. Today's pairing is a red wine seafood cioppino, and it's paired with their Estate Lou wine, which I'm very excited to try. It seems really awesome. I'm gonna try to make this cioppino, and hopefully it comes out as good as the citrus salmon did. So why don't you follow along with me, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I've got uh, my Le Creuset pot on the stove, uh, medium-high heat. I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pan whatever cooking oil you have. I just have oils I like. About three tablespoons. There we go. Let that heat up for just a second. And then we're going to start cooking first our onion with some salt for a couple of minutes. And then we'll add our peppers and garlic. So I have one large onion diced. That. So this recipe was actually created by St. Supri's estate chef Todd Kawachi. He actually is part of their online series as well. He talks about the food and what pairs well with the wines and also shows you how to make the dish. So I'm excited to see if hopefully mine is close to what he's making. So we're gonna cook our onion for about three minutes until it gets soft and translucent. Okay, these are looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one chopped red bell pepper. And then two cloves of garlic minced. Get that going. Mm, the kitchen smells good already. I wish we had smell vision. So we're gonna cook this for another two to three minutes just until our veg veggies get soft. At this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Definitely wanna build la layers of flavor with this dish. Always season while you go. some herbs to flavor this dish. What I have is one and a half teaspoons of thyme, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, one and a half teaspoons of parsley, and a bay leaf. We're gonna add this to the pot. I'm using dried herbs. If you have fresh herbs, go for it. What's nice about a stock or a, a stew kind of dish is dried herbs work great for this. Okay. Now we're going to add two cups of red wine. We're using um, Saint Supre's Cabernet Sauvignon. I'll bring it a little closer to the thing so you can see it, maybe. Two cups of that go in the dish. We're going to bring the wine and the aromatics up to a simmer, take about four to five minutes. 
Make sure to stir occasionally just so things don't stick to the bottom of your pan. Our wine mixture is up to a simmer. We're gonna add two cups of vegetable stock. And a can of crushed tomatoes. I'm using the Cento crushed tomatoes. Feel free to use whatever brand you like. Stir that up. Okay, so we're gonna let this mixture simmer for about 20 minutes before we add our seafood. This way all of the ingredients will melt together. The flavor will get more intense. So we'll let this sit for 20 minutes. We'll be right back. So we let our base cook for about 20 minutes. It smells amazing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our seafood. Since they're all about sustainable seafood for this program, I've chosen to do shrimp, black mussels, and halibut. The shrimp are local. Louisiana, we have readily available shrimp all season long. Um, these can come from, you know, right in our back door. These I got from Rouse's, which is our local market here. These are peeled and deveined. We have about half a pound here. Add that to the pot. Now I'm going to add some halibut. This was on sale locally. It was a fresh catch deal at Whole Foods today. Got a nice filet of fish. This is again about a half a pound. I just diced up the halibut in little chunks. Add that in. And then also at Whole Foods, we got some black mussels. Black mussels, make sure when you get them home to scrub them down really well. And then sometimes they have what's called the beard. It's like this little piece that's kind of hanging out of the muscle. Make sure to pull that off or cut that piece off. It's just not good eats. And this is about a pound of mussels. For this dish, they recommend about a pound total of seafood. I have about, I'd say, almost two pounds right now. I got a little carried away with my mussels and my seafood today. So I added a little extra of the tomato sauce. So hopefully that will balance out. So we're gonna add our mussels. And what's great with this dish, you can add any type of seafood you like. Clams would be great in this. You could also add crab, any type of white fish would be lovely. Pretty much make this dish your own. Give it a nice stir. We're gonna let it do its thing and make sure all of our seafood is cooked properly. And we'll get back to you. So we cooked our chipino for about another five to six minutes. Basically you wanna make sure that your mussels are open, your shrimp is curled, and that your fish is cooked thoroughly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nice spoonful. With your mussels, make sure that they're all open, the ones that stayed closed. Make sure to get rid of those. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Great fish in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna serve this with a little bit of crusty bread. We have a delicious meal. Hope you guys enjoy.